Do You Remember Once by Alan Seeger. Do you remember once and pairs of glad faces the night you wandered off on a third moon's ray and, leaving far behind bright streets and busy places, stood where the Seine flowed down between its quiet quays? The city's voice was hushed, the placid lustrous waters mirrored the walls across her orange windows burned. Out of a starry soof provoking rumors brought us far promise of a spring already northward turned. And breast drew near to breast, and round its soft desire, my arm uncertain, stole and clung were unrepealed. I thought that never more my heart would hover nigher to the last flower of bliss that nature's garden held. When your beauty sweet, a damnant to pleasure, the mute, half opened lips and tender, wandering eyes, I saw embodied first my back on me the treasure, long sought across the seas and back of summer skies. Dear face, when coughed death should climb my limes and find them, laid in some desert place, alone or where the tides, or four tumultuous waves on the wet sands behind them, the thrifts of gasping life where a red flute subside. Out of a past remote delirious abysses, shine forth once more as when you shone, beloved head laid back in ecstasy between our blinding kisses, transfigured with the bliss of being so coveted. And my sick arms will part, and fought her fever seared. My mouth will curve again with the old tender flame, and darkness will come down, still finding in my spirit a dream of your brief love, and on my lips your name. You loved me on that moonlit night long since. You are my queen, and I the charming prince, elected from a world of mortal man. You loved me once, what pity was it when? You laughed, not love, deep in the emerald west, like a returning carol caressed. A breezing with load all the ambitioned air, with clingling fragrance of a blaze and beers, from harbors when the caverns cut down, I see of the rooftops of the town, a new moon back again, a churned sea, a joy with once it had in store for me. And now again the voice upon the stair, a little studio and the candle glare, and all that makes and word and touch and glass a bliss for first nights of a romance. When will to laugh and be beloved casts out, a want to question or a will to doubt, You laugh me once, and the western seas, the pale moon settles at the plebeans. The firelight sings outside the night winds moan, the hour advanced, and I sleep alone. Farewell, dear heart, and never wane despairing. If I have a reader plea but one excuse, the jewel wear lesser joy in roving, but cost a lesser agony to lose. I had not bide for beautiful hours, had I not found the door so near unsealed. And I hope but you not filled my arms with flowers, for with one flower that bloomed too far afield. If I have wept, it was because forsaken, I felt perhaps more poignantly than some. The blank eternity from which we walk, and of a blank eternity to come. And I betrayed how sweet the thing and tender, and the regret with which my lip was curled, seemed in its tragic, momentary splendor, my transit through the beauty of a world.